What's up everyone, Andy from Dino here, back for another episode of the Dino Toolchain series where we dig a little deeper into the Dino subcommands. We've published Dino Test and Dino Bench, both of which you can check out on our YouTube playlist. But today, we're going to look at Dino Format, our built-in formatter that's customizable, performant, and flexible enough to fit into any workflow. Let's dive right in. Dino Format will format these file extensions, and the simplest way to use Dino Format is to run it from the command line. You could even pipe in a file. You can also use the check flag, which will check if you're your code has been formatted by Dino Format. If it's not formatted, it will return a non-zero exit code. This is useful in CI where you want to check if the code is formatted properly. Dino Format also works in your editor like VS Code. Set Dino Format as your default formatter. You can also set Format on Save to be true. In some situations, there are multiple ways to format and we let you decide how you want to format it. For example, an object can be formatted horizontally or vertically. It depends on where you put your first item. Same with an array. Dino Format also reduces the escaped characters in your strings. What if you want Dino Format to skip a line or a file? You can use this comment to tell Dino Format to skip the following line. To tell Dino Format to skip a file, you can also add this comment at the top. Or you can use Dino.json and exclude the file either under Format or at the top level, which will also tell Dino Lint to ignore it. This is a good place to put your generated files. Dino Format also works on Markdown files. You can choose how to format prose with the option Prose Wrap with Always, Never, and preserve. Dino format can also format numbered lists. If you start a number list with two ones, it'll automatically format the list to all ones. But when you render it, it will show the number list properly. If that's weird, you can also put one and then two and then format, which will number the rest of the list. Dino format will also format code blocks of JavaScript and TypeScript and even markdown in markdown. Let's take a look at all the options available in Dino Format. Note that all these options also have a corresponding flag on the CLI. Dino Format is really fast, especially on subsequent runs due to caching, which is enabled by default. Here's the first run that we did on Dino Standard Library. Let's run it again. The system time shows that the second run is a third faster. And if we update a file and run it again, it's still fast since Dino Format checked only the changed file. Let's compare this to Prettier, a popular node formatter. We'll run Prettier with a caching flag enabled on a second run. And Dino Format is almost 20 times faster. And that's it for this video. Let us know what you think about Dino Format. And what subcommand would you want to see next? Let us know in the comments. <laughs>